Hello guys, the DB Grindy here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Neighborhood YGO with 607 rating versus June with 578, so this is going to be another high rated DB video. And with that being said, let's hop right in, and we're going to go ahead and see June go ahead and win the rock, paper, scissors shoot there, and they'll decide to go first, 43 versus 40, opening hands, you have Cyber Emergency, Alpha, Ritual Spell, Called by Delta, then they have Ashina, Red Rose, Griffin, Red Rose, and Blackout. Okay, so neither of them open up a going second card in their opening hands, by the way. Um, they're going to go ahead and use Ashina effect and then Chain Griffin. So special summon, special summon. And then normal summon out the Red Rose, turn those into a Fleur, and then Red Rose effect to go ahead and special summon out from the deck. And they're going to bring out the Rocks Rose and use that effect to go search out the Rose Shoot. If you haven't seen this stuff before, you are probably going to see it a lot throughout this format seen a lot of people trying this stuff out uh, go for needle fiber needle fiber effect to go summon that's going to summon out the 001 and then get rid of that and the 001 for this effect tokens and then 001 summon itself out they're just skipping a step there uh yeah they they understand what's happening go for herald of arc light banish the ashina to special summon out from the deck brings out otara and then they can make yazi and then they can go ahead and Floor Effect to pop Yazi. And then Yazi Effect summon out Moe. Should be in defense. Effect reveal blackout. And then, you know, just turn those. Well, Otter add back Ashina. Then go ahead and turn those into the Grandmaster. Uh, Grandmaster Moe. So they're going to use Grandmaster 2. Go search out Long Young. And then draws into Bell. So plays Bell in the main deck. Um, it's a hand trap that I think we will also be seeing a little bit more. Uh, it's decent. It's not that great, but it's like decent versus everything. And summon out the token. Goes through Supreme, Effect, Burn, and then Set Pass. So this is an insane end board. Um, yeah, I mean, like, come on. Grandmaster, Supreme, Herald of Arclight, Fleur, Blackout, Bell. Like, that's six interruptions. They draw Celestial. I don't think they're going to reveal what deck they're on. Yeah. <laughs> how many cards in your deck? Lil, 39, for real, though. <laughs> you tell me how many are you in your deck first. It's relevant when you blind scoop. I was busy comboing. <laughs> so... Going on to the next game now, we're going to go ahead and see Neighborhood go first. Opening hands, we have Idaton, Ophiel, Alpha, Nova, Zeta. There's actually the strategy last format that I didn't reveal because I didn't want people to know about it. Um, so, Sword Soul players are all playing 43, 44 cards, like all right around there. So, what you would do if you were a bird player, is, or any player really, but that was a bird player. You'd go ahead, combo game one. They scoop without revealing what deck they're on. You win game one. And then you... Oh, wait. Am I messing up the strategy? Oh, no. Wait. Hold on. Yeah, this it wasn't complicated. I don't know how I'm messing it up now. Um, Pretty much, you know, 43, 44 cards would reveal, like, what deck they are on. So... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so you want to ask at the very beginning of the match if you knew you were going first, because, like, it just didn't matter what deck your opponent was on realistic, realistically, like, you were just winning, um, and then in between game one and game two, you would ask how many cards are in their deck, so they blind scoops, so that way you don't know what deck they're on, but then you ask them how many cards they're playing, and they tell you 43, 44, and now you know they're on Sword Soul, so they scoop to prevent you from knowing what deck they're on, but you already know what deck they're on. That's what it was. I don't know how I messed that up. It was, like, really, really simple. But, yeah, opening hand, full combo. Um, They have Red Rose, Bell, Ash, Faithful, and then Rose Shoots. So they have two hand traps here. They're going to activate Nova. Go ahead, summon out Gamma. Oh, that should be Engrave, yeah. And then go for Link Karibo. Alpha Effect, Tribute Zeta. They are going to now go ahead and chain Ash Blossom on that. Zeta effect, Chain Bell, which honestly, you know, they're kind of okay with getting hit with low impact hand traps, so it's not high impact hand traps. Um, they still do something there for sure, though. Summon Fafnir, Fafnir effect, go dump the ritual spell. 
Then they're going to ritual spell effect to add itself back. And now that loses a thousand attack. Activate the ritual spell. And then that will go ahead and detach. Summon out the Idaton. And then Idaton add back ritual spell. Turn those into a Dagda. Activate chain Dagda. So go set Scythe. And then detach the special summon out from the graveyard. The Idaton. And then Idaton effect. Add back. Then they're going to get rid of those two. Go for Anaconda. Um, Anaconda effect, pay 2k, go ahead, dump, summon out Enforcer. Okay, so they decide to leave Dagda on board, so they definitely have Lancia on deck. They draw Red Rose. And then Standby Phase, Enforcer effect. They don't have Lancia. Okay, um, they're gonna go ahead and activate Fateful. Normal summon, go search out the Equip spell. Activate the other effect to go search out Temple, and then discard Temple, Temple effect, banish, go search out right, and then activate right, bring out the token, and then activate the Equip Spell, Equip Spell effect, bounce Scythe. I don't see a target. Um, I mean, bouncing back Scythe just doesn't seem like the move because what what's gonna happen next turn now you're gonna get hit with scythe lock again <laughs> like you can't win yeah they admit the fee going on into game three now we are going to go ahead and see sword soul go first opening hands you have mind control full alpha talents oh, oh they weren't lying about the 39 but okay Mind Control and Talents. They got Double Snatch Steel in this hand. They have Ashina, Wright, Griffin, Iteli, Adara. Your hand creamy. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, it's it, it, it works. It definitely works. Go ahead, bring out Faithful. Um, Adara effect to try to special summon itself out. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Faithful. So Faithful to go grab the Equip spell. Yeah, go ahead, add Equip. And then effect so go grab the temple and then discard um said so think on the discard so your hand is creamy now nah, i just don't know the lines it's not alpha zeta oh she's uh griffin summon itself out and then activate e telly so e telly to bring out the ogre then get rid of those for Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber effect to go Special Summon. Uh, that's going to bring out the Red Rose. And then get rid of those two. Make Floor effect. And then that will go ahead and you know, Special Summon. And then effect to go Search out the Res, res Rose Shoot. And then get rid of those for Yazzie. Said one sec. Oh, they're probably just checking the level on the token or something. Uh, Floor to pop Yazi, Yazi effect to go special summon out, and then it's good to leave Needle Fiber there because I can tag out in the formula, and I don't know if they play the Stardust Synchro Ten, but if they do. That could come up. You're gonna Temple go search out right. I'm guessing they're just doing that before they draw. Why is it so hard to send snow? Oh, lol, like riser legit stunts combo. Yeah, like hard to riser while full comboing, but um, I don't know. Something good about like having snow is that you're able to go ahead and play around droplets. You just use your inter other interruptions than snow. Uh, they're gonna Ashina, chain link one, rose, chain link two, summon, summon, and then Adara, banish to add. Then get rid of those two, go for Grandmaster, Moe Grandmaster, so draw Foolish. Oh, and they have Foolish for Snow, they're insane. Said, oh, I lied. <laughs> Said, it's easy to get to that, come on now, just draw good. Go for Supreme. Set pass, so they have Snow as an interruption, Supreme, Grandmaster, Floor, Halk into Formula in the Synchro 10, maybe, so Four, four and a maybe. <laughs> Wait, no, five. That's five and a maybe. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. F five and a maybe. Then they're going to go main phase. Upstart. Um, draw into another full. Then resolution. Needle fiber effect. You can't use that in response to upstart because if you summon formula, as chain link two. It's a when effect, so you won't get the draw off of it. Uh, formula draws an option. Imagine if they drew a hand trap. Uh, mind control on Supreme. That goes through. And then they're going to activate the alpha effect. Tribute Ben 10. Uh, special summon that out. Go grab the Idaton. And then Ben 10 effect that goes surge. Go grab Diviner. Normal summon Diviner. Diviner effect. Chain floor to go ahead and negate that. Activate talents to draw. Talents draws Plasma and Zeta. Then they're going to activate the Zeta effect. Tribute Idaton. Special summon. Go grab the ritual spell. Then overlay those. Go for Fafnir. Uh, Fafnir effect. Go dump Gamma. Then here they're going to activate Snow. So go Banish. Oh, doesn't activate yet. Yeah. Doesn't change to a banish, it's on res. Yep. Uh, then they're gonna go ahead and negate this with Grandmaster. Summon out snow. Um, snow effects set. Okay, activate. Get rid of Fafnir, summon out full. And then full effect, add back to Ben 10. Anything on res, uh, full effect to go ahead and tribute Ben 10 and full, summon out Bethor. So now they're going to get Ben 10 and Bethor effect. Bethor will allow them to go ahead and pop three here because they have up to three different ritual monsters with different names in the graveyard. So, uh, so set, formula, fateful, they're going to chain black out to go ahead and pop. Then Ben 10, go grab Scythe. Gamma, summon that out, summon out Zeta. Ritual spot is self spat. Keeps the Scythe thing going second. Wow. So they're going to get rid of those. Go for Anaconda. Um, Anaconda effect, pay 2k. I mean, wow, this. It's ended up working pretty well, pretty well. Um, okay, maybe they could have like ritual spell, got rid of Zeta to, I guess it doesn't really do anything. Summon out Idaton and Idaton add back ritual spell, like cool, it may as well just not even have done it at that point. Um, so dump those, bring out Enforcer, and then they're going to go Battle Phase, Enforcer Effect, pop Anaconda Floor. They're not going to attack because Snow will be able to set this to stop Scythe. They draw the third Ashina, Enforcer Effect here. Um, this will go ahead and pop itself in Scythe. Effects, Special Summon itself out, and then Effect to be able to Special Summon out next turn. And, I mean, the thing about that is that's Threatening Roar. Um... Uh, because now they're not going to be able to like go for game or anything. And the dry trunk cards are very powerful on the follow up. They're going to have a shoot a bounce scythe. Yo, this didn't work out last time. They don't have a way for game or anything, right? No. They don't. Now while being under scythe, they don't. They weren't under scythe. Whew. They were gaming easily. So now they're going to attack for 36. I mean, come on, it's just game. Like, they draw Zeta. Um, Enforcer comes out. Go main phase. Uh, Alpha, Tribute, Special Summon, and then add Draco Nids. And then activate the Ritual Spell. Get rid of Alpha, summon out Ben 10. And then Zeta, Tribute, Special Summon. Uh, go grab the second Ritual Spell. All right, Ben 10 effect to go search. Grab Diviner. Then Ritual Spell to add back, Normal Summon, Effect to go dump, dump Arc Light, Arc Light, go grab Ophiel, Activate Ritual Spell, um, Ritual Spell, get rid of Zeta, Summon out Full, Full Effect. I'm so surprised that the opponent's not emitting Defeat here. 
I guess, like, it's not game. I mean, like, they, they have snow. Like, maybe it's not game. But, like, worst comes to worst. Yeah, I have Scythe Lock again. Um, and they probably do have game anyways. They're going to go for Floor. Uh, Gamma, Tribute, Special Summon, Special Summon. And then Overlay for Fafnir. Fafnir effect, dump Delta, activate, detach, summon Idaton, Idaton effect, add back, then they're going to get rid of those two, go for Dagda, activate, I was gonna say, it might just summon this as a link too, like without having like Lancia in the deck or anything, sometimes it just happens I guess, yeah I mean their hand was insane, um, I feel like we both misplayed a decent amount, I go for game though. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I know they go for game. Like, I, I, I don't need to see this. I, I, under, I understand big bodies, game, worst comes to worst, scythe logs. So, yeah, they definitely win that. But we're going to see that the match was actually an hour long. Wow, so there had to be a decent amount of thinking in this. Um, You know, if it's, like, your first time playing this deck or one of your first times playing in this deck, you're definitely going to have to, like, think it out because... Uh, even, like, regular Sword Slow, you have to think a decent amount to do, like, the proper plays, but... Then you're taking Sword Soul and putting a twist on it. You know, you're not going to be able to play it perfectly right right when you start playing it. Um, you're going to have to, like, learn some of the lines and everything. But with all of that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.